Lyrics and Lies with your host, Money Green. And Shay is on the mic. I surveyed 100 women and came up with the top 10 actions to take when your husband cheats. I do like to hear about what goes on in the women's minds. I really get a kick out of that. And some of this stuff really messed me up and, and, and had me concerned. And it's fresh, so I should say I'm still concerned. So, we're going to get into top 10 actions to take when your man cheats. Ladies, be careful with these answers because we're going to deliver them the way they were presented. But use your own common sense and discretion. These are women from all walks of life, from all professions, women of all ages. 18 to 80, dumb, crippled, and crazy. Single, married, girlfriend, boyfriend, shacking up. Anything you can think of, any scenario that comes to mind, those are the type of women that were asked. Number 10 on this list is change the locks on the house. When you find out your husband cheats or your boyfriend cheats. So you're locking the man out. Your thoughts on that? I don't see nothing wrong with that. You don't see anything wrong with that. You know, it's toothbrushes inside. It's it's like toothpaste, not do. toothpaste inside. Well, she knows he's outside. The TV, the cable. Now, what is he supposed to do? Knock on the door. If and he knocks and she back. answers, what happens? She won't first ask him a lot of questions. Can I help you? What are you doing here? He picked the damn house out. She know what he's doing there. Well, you um, you decided to cheat, right? And don't so let it be. your house no more. Cheating does not constitute who the house belongs to and who has access and who doesn't. Well, that's not how these women feel about it. They feel that if you do these things, this should happen. I'm asking you for clarity since you're the only woman in this <laughs> in the studio. Howard Studios. So, uh, I don't know about this because sometimes it's a power play and people do it because they were home first. So, what if <laughs> <laughs> what if she found out and he was already in the house? Change the locks all you want to. You can go on the other side of that door. I might lock you out. Well, um, if she was home, if he was home first, she's not going to change the locks while he's home. She's going to wait for him to go to work to do the changing of the locks. She's not going to do it right then while he was home. But to, to be to to be on the woman's side about this, when you're mad and angry, these are the things you think of to do because you you just want to be vindictive and get back and make that person feel how you're feeling at this moment. Because of their because of their cheating, she gonna send them to the store. Oh, can you go to the store real quick? Yep. Junior needs some pencils for his class. Bam. He's out of notebook paper, and he goes out of the house, and the locksmith is waiting outside, and the locks are changed, and then you should have been cheating with that. Nah, you stay out there. You find you go go sleep with that bit. You go stay stay the night with her. You mean coming up in here? Him nasty ass. That's about sums it up. You know what? That's about sums it up. But that's pretty light compared to Some number nine. Here. <laughs> so, so number nine. Oh wow! Exactly. So <laughs> <laughs> number nine, the the number nine thing to do or action to take when your husband or your your boyfriend cheats on you is to poison him. Now I'm reading this. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me. You gonna poison the man? This is male attraction stuff. <sighs> this is ID. This person been looking at ID. Some I look. I love the ID channel. That's, yeah, that's probably my favorite channel. Yeah, and this is where this idea came from. Ah, and, I, and I do see a lot of people get poisoned on there. But if your man cheats, you can't poison them. Now, I give a little leniency because some of the answers that came in said. Poison him to mess his stomach up. One said you can Google certain things to give someone a real bad stomach ache to the point where a man thinks he's pregnant so he has to go to the hospital. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's, it's some pepper type stuff that can really mess up his stomach walls, whatever. But it's just really to inconvenience him for a short period of time. Pretty much to ground him. And normally 
when a man is grounded, then a woman can really fire off what she wants to say. So that's where these women are coming across. That's where they're coming from. Poison him to make him immobile, to inconvenience him, to make him feel bad, to wow. have him hurled over and, and, and wincing in pain and everything. Have him to the point where he needs to go to the hospital, call off of work or whatever. That I don't would, agree with this one. Yeah, but that particular group of women found delight in mm-hmm. bringing him physical harm. Mm-hmm. But it's like some sneaky harm because you know it's going to be something that she cooked for him. Right. You know what I'm saying? Unless he has a favorite snack or something. It's going to be something that she cooked for him and presented to him. And she's just taking the light of him eating. And she's probably just watching him eat. Like, yeah, go and eat that. Yeah, yeah, eat it up, eat it up, eat it up. And as soon as he's hurt, she's like, got your ass. <laughs> so, the second part of number nine. And once again, the top ten actions to take when your man cheats. The second part of number nine, which says poison him. A lot of women said, poison him with a fatal potion. So that's where your ID channel comes in. Mm-hmm. And I'm saying, you gonna kill the man? You can't. She's like, yeah, you gonna kill the man. I don't need what it. is that other show that comes on other than ID? Snapped. Snapped. Yeah. There we go. But, you can't, you, but a lot of them don't kill people for cheating on Snapped. They have other reasons. But the, but the cheating can make you snap. Well, I don't, hopefully you won't snap. Not me, but I'm just saying in general. Hopefully nobody I know snaps on We just on don't know. Else. We don't know. But gee whiz, you're going to poison the man with a fatal potion. So you can't do arsenic because people find out about arsenic. Mm-hmm. So if you kill him, your ass going to jail you later. To jail. Right. And some of them are like, I don't care to be worth it. He ain't on there and I'm in no, jail. I ain't worth it. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't do sorry. that. So ladies, you find out your man is cheating. Please reconsider doing number nine. You probably should do number eight. Now, it it was uh, a little disheartening to me that number eight was so low on the list. I thought number eight would be in the first, second, or third position. But number eight is to pray. Mm-hmm. Pray. Pray for the strength to deal with what's going on. Pray for him to do better. Pray to come with reasons that he did it. Or pray for his honesty and then the two of you can come together and pray for you two to come up with a good way to handle things. Pray. Have you ever done that? You know, somebody cheated on you? Oh yeah, pray, praying would be up in the um, top five. I wouldn't have put prayer at eight. I'm, I'm kind of shocked about that too. But if you saw that um, movie, um, War Room, that's what the wife did. For her relationship and her husband. Now, how did that work out in the movie? At the end of the movie, he couldn't understand why she was not being this person she was then before, combative, talking Mm -hmm. back. And it humbled him. So she became stronger with the wisdom and the intelligence that praying brought to her soul. Correct. Brought to her spirit. Correct. So, ladies, you found out your man. Is cheating. The action to take is to pray and pray more and then pray more and you'll be able to deal with everything he put in your ass through. And you, it might, that doesn't you'll be that's in a better position to deal with the BS he bringing. That's what praying going to do. Because I don't know if praying going to stop him from doing this thing thing. Unless you pray that I don't know. I'm not even going to say that. I was about to say. <laughs> but uh... <laughs> That leads us to number seven. And this is vindictive and this is rude and cruddy. Number seven is to tell his parents. You're going to tell your man's parents, your boyfriend, your husband, you're going to tell his parents that he cheated on you. How are you going to go about doing that? And why is this number seven? This shouldn't even be on the top ten. It's a wild woman out here. (laughs) So you're going to go to his parents and they'll probably go tell them face to face. And I don't agree with this one. And knock on the door. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, hey, how you doing? Hey, come on here. Yeah, yeah. Look, I just came over to tell you that your son has been cheating on me. He's been sticking his dick when he's supposed to be sticking it. Yeah, you got to be a straight up gangster woman to do that. Or, you know what? I take that back. Cause you can also be the type of woman that gets real sentimental and sweet 
and cry a little bit and say, yes, this is your son, Brian, has been cheating on me. And you get the sympathy of the parents. And the father's going to call them up. I say, what the hell are you doing? You got your wife over here crying. You got your girlfriend over here crying. You need to be a better wife. And the mother's going to be even worse. Especially if she likes her. You weren't raised like that. And why would you put this nice girl through all that? I can, you know what? I take it back. I can see how number seven is not so gangster. I can see how it can be very effective, especially if you want to. Um, some parents don't like to get involved in their children's relationship. So they don't, you know, really have anything to say. But if um, the parents really like the girl, they might um, go ahead and get involved in it. Right. But I think they, a woman will only do that if she wants to stay. All right. Number six action to take when your husband or boyfriend is cheating. Burn his belongings. Yeah, you know they got that from waiting till exhale, huh? Waiting till exhale, putting that Angela Bassett move. That sexy Angela Bassett. Oh Lordy Lord. But anyway, doing what she did when she put all the man's stuff inside of his car and lit that stuff up and walked away and flicked her cigarette and I was sad and turned on at the same time. Because she's so fine. There's a lot of destructive things she could do. She would get passes for it. So her husband, Courtney B. Vance, I know she doesn't act like that in real life. But if she did, I know he ain't going nowhere because Anne Sebastian is the bomb. But anyway, for all you other women out there, whether you the bomb or not, don't burn a man's stuff. You know what I'm saying? Don't burn it. A lot of times you burn all this stuff and y'all stay together and then y'all have to buy that stuff back. So all them shoes and gifts you got. Well, he would be buying them because she's probably not. No, she gonna she gonna feel guilty she later. She may. No, depends she on what kind of chick you got. It depends on how he puts it down afterwards, exactly. and that, that's physically and personally. Mm -hmm. If he's a, a nice person and treats her well afterwards, she gonna want to buy him some stuff. She gonna feel guilty. All right, I guess I buy him shoes. I cut up mm -hmm. for the other stuff. I burned whatever. If he puts it down in the bedroom, she's like, well, I really gotta get this stuff. Mm -hmm. My bad. I ain't mean to burn everything. I just mean to scare you. I ain't want to do a left eye on you because. <laughs> Left idea that burning shoes and didn't realize. But she that. really didn't mean to burn the yeah. house down like that. Yeah. It, it got the fire got out of hand. But she was burning his belongings, right? Uh, his shoes, his shoes. And stuff in the bathtub, mm -hmm. and then realized the walls and everything were, were flammable. But y'all can't do that little burning stuff. You know what I'm saying? You still it's, go to jail for those things too. So I would, I would take up for. I'm, I'm a roll. I'm, I'm a ride with it like that for real. I don't like all that fire stuff though. You got to think about that. Fire is that's that's deadly. For real, and bad for the pollution. So, ladies, we believe in being green and protecting the earth. So, don't burn stuff. Burning is bad, for real. Just keep the stuff in the closet where it is, and have a talk. And do like number eight if you find out your man is cheating, and, and pray. All right, honorable mention. Give his pet dog away. And, and that's vindictive. You find out your man cheating, and you give away his pet. You know how men are with their dogs? Diamonds is a girl's best friend, and a dog is a man's best friend. Mm -hmm. And a rover, or king, or lady, just gonna get a man's dog away. Wow. And, and worse than that, and it's not listed here, it's letting it just run away wild. It's, it's, just let the dog go. Yeah, it's taking it outside. You only have to give him away, just let him run out. Put no out, leash on it. He out, mess, the, um, out the gate. Yeah, it must run and get hit. But anyway, yeah, that's that's a real vindictive right there, giving a man's dog away. That's because he cheated. That dog ain't have anything to do with that cheating. The dog should not have to suffer for the sins of its master. Oh, my gosh. Number two, on the honorable mention of things to do if you find out your man is cheating. What's the second thing? When he's performing oral sex, pee on him. I ain't never heard nothing like that. Ooh. This is a, what, what age was this? This from eighteen to eighty. Oh my gosh! I would never thought of that. <laughs> Y'all women are rough. <laughs> Woo! That's something right there. The man is trying to perform kind of lingus, so he's definitely not gonna see anything coming. Mm, mm, mm. And then you gonna pee on him. Wow, that's deep. Dead in his face, Don't and knowing shower. some of these women, they gonna try to pass it off with. It felt so good. I, I couldn't stop. Mm -hmm. I didn't know it did that. Right. I couldn't hold it. 
Mm-hmm. And inside line. But then again, I know some some ruthless women that be like, that's what you get. They ain't gonna tell you that to your face, and they're gonna tell you that a little late. You know, I peed on you, right? <laughs> but mm. that's rough. That's honorable mention. I'm glad that only one or two people said that. Oh my gosh. I think that was only one. I think only one person said you're gonna that. You're gonna have to read the other one because you know I don't, I don't talk like that. Number three on an honorable mention thing. Now, these are the honorable mention, so this is not. One through ten. It's the honorable mention. These are things that didn't make the top ten. But the next one is chop his thing thing off. Mm, mm, mm. They said chop his dick off. So I'm gonna read it exactly the way they wrote it. Chop his dick off. I'm surprised that that didn't make the top ten. Because the way a lot of women talk and Bobby. make threats, Lorraine and Bobbitt, mm-hmm. I'm really surprised. But I'm glad. That it didn't make the top 10. Mm-hmm. So all the women that were surveyed, all those who weren't surveyed that didn't even think about this when the topic came up, I appreciate you in speaking on behalf of all the men across America <laughs> that may dibble and dabble or dilly dally or mess around with something on the side one or two times. We appreciate you for not even thinking about chopping dicks off. It is not becoming it is not what God wants. Leave scissors and knives out of the bedroom. Mm-hmm. Penises are to be cherished. Men never run around here trying to chop off nipples and clits and stuff. But we're not even getting that. That even turns my stomach even thinking about that. So that's on the honorable mention list. So there's one more thing on the honorable mention list. Burning bed. I appreciate that not making the top ten list. So that's your... Honorable mention list. So we're coming down to the wire of the top five things that women say they would do if they found out their man was cheating. Number five, counseling. We have some sensible women out there. I agree with that. I prefer to be in the top three. But it made number five, which had me worried about what the top four was. <laughs> I'm like if counseling and praying are number five and number eight, then oh my goodness, one through four, make is, I'm, I'm scared. But anyway, how well does counseling work? Because you have to be a very level-headed woman to want to do counseling. Well, if the, if you're married, because this is um, cheating on your husband, or your boyfriend, we you know say it's husband, it can be your boyfriend or whatever. Well, I'm going to just. Uh, Talk about the husband, right? Because because girlfriends and boyfriends go to counseling. Well, yeah, but um, counseling I think is a good idea. Um, I think you might need to get the root to the why um, this is happening. Why why your husband cheated? Right. You know, it could be reasons. It could be things that's happened in his childhood in his past for him to go and do something like that. I that's mean, you true. know, we look at Iyanla fix my life, and some of the reasons. Why people do the things they are, they do is um, on their past. Starts from the past. Something that's happened in their childhood. Or discipline. Or discipline, yeah. Because a lot of men, especially on your or something, if you have a gift of being able to please a lot of women, that may be one reason. Or if you have the blessing of a million dollar contract in an NBA basketball career that can easily drive you to cheat because you have beautiful women throwing themselves at you and if you don't have the discipline to control yourself and control your hormones and control your temptation or you have enough respect for the woman that you're with it, I think it goes hand in hand you have to have some respect for yourself and respect for your relationship mm-hmm. respect for her but anyway yeah I think counseling is a very good idea. Yeah. And the reason why I'm saying that for husbands, because when you get married, um, you send vows in front of God. This is, this is, you become one. So you will try to do whatever you can to work on your relationship. If, if there's something to work out. I'm not saying that everybody stays married. Um, but if you can, if you can, um, you know, do whatever you can to keep the marriage together then I think you should do it. And counseling is one of those things that could help. Right. You really love the person. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give them a second chance. 
I remember I was cheating on once. My girlfriend cheated on me. I gave her a second chance. So if you have a big heart, or you're a sucker for love, or you really think things can work out, or you're a sucker for love, <laughs> you said that. Or twice. you really love the person, <laughs> or you're a sucker for love, or you have kids and you want to work it out. Child. You want to work it out for your family, or you're a sucker for love, or you can't see yourself with anybody else. Or you're a sucker for love. Wouldn't that be a sucker for love if you don't see, see yourself with somebody else? No, because that's not or love. Or maybe a sucker that's for love because you're always in love. Or you can't be alone. Yeah, you don't want to be alone. Or you're a sucker for love. There we go. You know what I'm saying? Then, yeah. Um, and it worked itself back out. around. And I hear a lot of great things from counselors and people find the right one and they can change lives. And you can change how you approach the relationship from that point forward. Mm-hmm. And... If the other person is really involved, then they may change their ways. And they're willing. And see that, right. See you that. both have to be willing to do this. Right, right. And to really be get involved in everything. So, the top 10 actions to take when your husband or boyfriend cheats on you. Number three, no, number four, is what? Humiliate him on social media. <laughs> humiliate the man on social media so he cheated I don't know about this one because I think a lot of times people are perceived to be cheating on social media and therefore get exposed on social media so I share this I know a woman that found out her man was cheating according to her And she did about two or three posts about him. And she really put him on blast. He cheated with this B-I-T-C-H. Her name was this. And such and such, such and such. And he ain't come home. And he did this and he did that. And I caught them such and such, such and such. And blah, blah, blah. And she did post after another. About three or four posts. And I felt bad because. And I know both of them. Mm Mm-hmm. I felt bad because everybody knew their business. That's number one. Number two, she she was off her rocket. Like she was in a very vulnerable state. And she was sharing everything, giving all types of information. I'm like, no, I don't want to know this about him. And don't put it on your page. You can call me or text me and, and I'll like delete it out of my brain, but don't put it up there for 2,000 of your friends to see on Facebook. But they ended up staying together. So, two days later, there were pictures of them two up there hugging and taking selfies. And she was like, he know what home is. Uh, we can't be stopped and all this kind of stuff. And I'm like, well, I'm glad about that. But that doesn't erase all that stuff you posted. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can try to delete them posts all you want, but everybody saw them posts. Yeah, so once it's up there, it's up there. Right. And it's out and it's already out to everybody. And people want to ask questions. And people want to ask questions. That's why it's best if you feel that you're going to get back with this person. That you need to really think things through before you put them on blast like that. And she's lucky that he, um, even though the humiliation of him being on social media, that, that that's, I mean, that's a blow yeah. to you. You know what I'm saying? And now everybody has a perception of you because right. of her. Right. You know what I'm saying? But so uh, that's and now it's one sided because all you hear is all he did A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and you're an angel. And they went up to H. So you can go ahead and do H. Oh, H. Yeah. And yeah, that. Yeah. I was going to do the whole alphabet, but I didn't think I needed to go through all that. He stopped on H. He didn't didn't go H was good. Right. I think sometimes, too, I know we get mad and frustrated, but sometimes we've got to think things through. it is hard. And how to handle it. Emotions take over. It gets hard. They do. For they real. Do. And you go crazy on people. So, uh, but an interesting thing is, how do they stay together? He said he's going to do number five, which is go to counseling. My That's boy, good. boy, that you right. That's good. Now, number five need to be moved up because, you know, you got somebody actually doing it. Yeah. Okay. But she did the... Humiliating him on social media first. Mm-hmm. They haven't been to counseling yet. Okay. 
And that, that was two years ago, but I know that he meant what he said, so they're going to go there one day. Yeah, we're down to the top three. Don't and this one makes sense. Vandalize his car. That's typical. Men have that attachment, and women know. Women know. What do you care about the most? He cares about that car. He cares about the rims. Oh, he ain't going to be able to go anywhere with these, when I slash these tires. So women going to do something to your car. And that's, you know, that, that's cool. And I've seen plenty of movies with that. My girl Jasmine Sullivan did a song about it. That's my baby, too. Uh, and Sebastian's my baby. I love some Jasmine Sullivan. But she uh, busts the windows out your out car. Out your car. Some of them put dents in it. Yeah, I see all types of stuff because on, on social media, you can see people doing all types of things mm -hmm. to the cars of their lovers. Kid. Spray paint it. If you're one of those men, you get caught up out there. Your car is going to get his ass whooped. <laughs> Tell your car. And I've seen a woman ram the car with her car. And run right into it. Now both of y'all cars are damaged. Yeah, that's not too smart. But anyway, top 10 actions to take when your man is cheating. Number two is to leave. I think it's the last straw. Like if this is a, this action continues... Need the last but some people, too. some people, some people, <laughs> some people, um, you just have to cheat on them one time now. All right. So <laughs> these were, uh, well, leave had two sub parts to it. So A was to leave and take all this money. So that's when you empty the bank account and whatever money is underneath the mattress, you take that and you roll out. <laughs> I've seen this happen before. I've seen accounts get empty before. I know at least one person that had his account empty. Um, I think that's extreme uh, to take the money out the bank account. Right. Um, I I think if I was ten years younger, <laughs> maybe I might have thought different because you're in a different space with your age. You know, but I, I don't even know ten years early if I would have thought about taking a man's money. I'm just gonna leave, take my stuff and leave. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I think this, like I said, I think this is a little extreme with taking taking his money, um, especially if it's, you're just a girlfriend and not a wife. You know, it's, it's one thing for taking half, and then now you're gonna take all this man's money. True. So number two says leave You find your man cheating And that's uh, 2A says take all this money 2B says to leave And take the kids with you <laughs> Disappear So you just take the kids and disappear <laughs> So now you're playing a pawn game Using that baby as a pawn A kid as a pawn mm -hmm. I'm leaving and I know you really going to want to see your child I'm taking the kid with me I'm mm -hmm. going to dangle that in front of you for a little while You're too. not going to have the Pleasure, nor the right to see your own child. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's messed up. And use that kid every chance they get. Yeah, that's wrong. That's sitting below the belt. Yeah, you, it is. You have any experience with that? Yes, because I pretty much. You did that. I'm not saying me. Oh, <laughs> all right. I would never. I, it's not. It's not something that I would do. I mean, you, you, you. Things cross your mind, but I've had some, some friends or acquaintances who have done that. Mm -hmm. okay. They took the they took the kid and they came home from work, found out everybody was gone, and the note was left. And the man said, "Damn, they left." She yeah, the kid didn't with. even say didn't say nothing about where they are. If you want to get in touch, you know how to call. But then he said, "At least she didn't get my money." <laughs> At least she didn't take my money. Out. First she thing he did was take his bank account. She mm -hmm. didn't get the money, she so took we, the kids. we cool. I think the money thing is extreme. Yeah, it is. I think that's a little bit extreme. I mean, that's that man's money. He earned it. He worked hard for it, too. Half. Like, yeah. But half. The whole thing. No. She said he get the other half back. This half is mine. Mm -hmm. And I'm putting your ass on child support. I'm getting that, too. Anyway, that's number two. So now we're down to the top action women said they would take Sorry. when <laughs> they found their man cheating. The number one action woman take would take is revenge cheat. And this has three subcategories. So the first one is sleep with your man's brother. 
Ooh, you got to be a dirty, low down, vindictive snake in the grass. <laughs> My sentiments exactly. I was oh. thinking the exact thing. Oh my goodness. That means every time you come over. You know what? I was going to say every time you come over, he thinks about y'all two together. But it goes deeper than that because if y'all have kids, you know brother's going to have pretty much the same DNA. But if you have sex with his brother, He's going to question if the child is his. And he'll have no way of knowing. Because you and your brother share the same DNA. So now, he's like, damn, this child will be mine. Did she just cheat this time because I cheated? Or did she cheat a long time ago? So you want to really mess with the man's mind, you do something like that. And if your brother is, you know, a little sucker or Kanye West type dude, he may do something like that. I wouldn't do something like that to my brother. You know what I'm saying? I had a chance of, you know, what somebody that he used to match to try to use me as a pawn, but I ain't go for none of that. But. It was tough. Eh, that's my problem. I ain't doing that. Nope, 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 nope. But anyway, top 10 action take when your man cheats on you. Number one answer is revenge cheat. And one A was sleep with his brother. One B is to sleep with his best friend. That's typical though. Yeah, but that's you hear about that. That's bad. Too. That's as dirty as a brother. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I tell you, these women are trip. But your but your friend might likely do that versus your brother. It depends. Depends on how your friendship is. It depends on what kind of friend it is. Mm-hmm. Depends on the last time we had one. Depends on how fine your girl is. Depends on what she does because he may not want to do it. He may reject it. But there's a little trick that manipulative people use and they'll say something like Man, he always said you was a little punk ass or he always said he can get more girls than you the right woman can do to, to a lot of men know what to say or she can spit her gang a lot of women got gang uh, and lastly then one C is sleep with the person's boss hmm. that, but it's vindictive yeah but it's very rare I mean I don't think the it's brother right. and the friend I see but it depends on the relationship you have with your boss. If you you and your boss like that, if you ain't, if you ain't c- kind of a, have a close relationship or good with your boss like that, I don't care about the boss. The boss that wouldn't I don't think that would hurt me like a friend and a brother. I tell you what, would it hurt me in my pocket later, coming to promotions and stuff like that? If I don't know about that. You're at work, and you're, and this is if you know. But your girlfriend or wife slept with your boss. You're not going to work there. And normally people have to work where they're working, of course, for a little, uh, at least a little amount of time until they find something better or find something else. But whenever he tells you something to do, hey, Brooks, I need you to get you like this balance. Slept with my wife. Oh, that, oh my goodness. That would hurt. Yeah, as you put it in perspective, yeah. Um, and I think about it, yeah. That could bother you because you have to work for this person. You're not going to automatically get a new job in five minutes. Ooh, that'd be painful. Yeah, that's true. Oh, my goodness. That's yeah. really true, yeah. Yeah, that's some vindictive women out here, ain't it? And creative. Very, very. They were, they were particular. Some of these things, I wouldn't even thought of. Yeah, they were. Especially um, number uh, nine. Number nine, mm-hmm. poison them. But that's mm-hmm. easy. We always say it on TV. But Yeah, but I wouldn't actually do it. That's good. You're a good girl. That's good. I try not to do stuff like that. And then, uh, whoever's out there, Shay on the mic, you get with her, you don't ever have to worry about her trying to poison you. Mm-hmm. Unless you get her to cook. But now you can cook a little bit though, right? Yes, I can. Okay, well she won't poison you when she cooks don't either. Don't be doing that, Cat Williams. My I'm bad. with me. My bad. My bad. And she, okay. Yeah. Anyway, so if you have some other creative ideas, you can feel free to share. Because I want to know if you can top some of these ideas. That's it for this segment of Lyrics and Lies. The top 10 action to take when your man cheats. Hopefully you'll be of sound mind and not too emotional. If that were to ever happen to you, and you would do more counseling 
and praying and things of that nature. Because we, we need we need a second chance or a third chance. And I know my uncle, I had an uncle, he like eight, nine times and got caught. So some of us need eight, nine, ten chances. Please subscribe. If you like the podcast, you like what we're doing, you like what we're saying, because we're going to be around here doing our thing for a while. So yeah, go ahead and subscribe and you get notified whenever we have something going on and a new episode to share. And comment on this one because, um, as you heard, Money Green wants to hear some of y'all um, top tens or add to the list that we've already put out here for y'all. Yeah, and you can be as wide and branchy as you need to be. It's all good. I've heard a lot. I mean, honorable mention was chopping thick also. Yeah, somebody can type that. You can type anything else you come up with. You had to bring that back up. Yeah, I don't want you doing that. Anyway, he's supposed to like, massage it and plays it. Okay, that's a little bit too much. All right, so anyway... Lyrics and Lies, signing all for Money Green. I'll holler at y'all later. And Shay is on the mic. You go ahead and laugh out loud. It's all good. Oh, gosh. You are so good. Yeah, I knew you were going to break that back.